everyone welcome back to the channel if you are new my name is Sharita and the name of my channel is unique by Sharita so in today's video it's going to be a DIY I'm going to show you how I install casing above my back door I've already added the window casing look to this area so I want to add it to this back door and if you notice we need that balance we need your eyes to go all the way across. And speaking of balance, now that I'm installing this um, trim around my door frames, that light fixture is really working my nerves. We're going to show you the light fixture that I picked out towards the end, so please stay tuned. And um, remember, I did get my board already cut to size at Home Depot. I just went in with my measurements and I let them cut the boards and I cut all my trim when I got home. First step when you get home is number one, prime your board. You can use primer or you can use the paint that has the primer in it. I chose to use primer. Number two, you're going to apply the adhesive to the back of the plywood board FYI feel free to prime your board before you hang it on the wall or after it's your choice I chose to prime it before I hung it on the wall you also want to clean any of the area that may have gotten any glue or paint on it as you go you don't want to wait until after you've done everything and go back and realize that the paint is not coming off. So go ahead and clean it as you go. Steps three and four, and apply the board to the wall above the casing. And then you want to follow up with the level to make sure the board is straight. This will determine how everything else that goes behind it is. So if that board is straight, everything else should be straight that goes on right behind it. Number five and six will be applying the inside trim. You can have this cut yourself at Home Depot, but I decided to come home and cut it myself. Just be sure that your inside measurements are the same width of the plywood. So I had my uh, miter saw and I just mitered the edges. We're going to apply the inside trim on the very lip of the board. It's resting on the board. And then I'll just follow up with the nail gun using finishing nails. Anywhere that has nail holes, we'll just come back and fill with wood filler. The last piece to this puzzle is a one by two board. It's already cut to size and I'm just applying a bead of adhesive to the very back of it because that's what's going to stick to the wall as well as to the board underneath. This one by two by one board is one and a half inches longer than your plywood to allow overhang. I'll just attach it and then I'll follow up with the nail gun. Right, that is it. So let's patch the holes, caulk and paint, and then we'll do the same thing to the other two areas. And here is the finished look. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. What a difference this makes. I just love how it just frames this area over here. I just mentioned why I added the trim to the door casing and window casings to balance everything. So what's not balanced in my visual is this light fixture. So I partnered with Urban Ambiance. I will be selecting a beautiful chandelier for my living room to replace this one. So let's go over to their website and I will show you what I selected. So Urban Ambiance has some beautiful light fixtures and I love the fact that you can select what you want by width, by the finishing, as well as the style and certain design features. Let's just go into maybe something in the shabby chic 
style. So these are so pretty. If this was the category I was looking for, I would definitely pick that one. That one right there. And maybe that one. Okay, so you get my point. They do have some beautiful light fixtures. Okay, so let's go into the category for the style that I chose. I chose Urban Industrial. I love those light fixtures. I love something unique. I really love these two, but I don't really love the color. So let's stroll on down and see if I can find that style in my color. So I like that color. That one to the left. That's beautiful, but it's not the right size. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. I like the one to the right too. But we're going to stroll on down and here is the winner. The one to the right, it has all the measurements. It has the perfect size and style. So that is the winner. And then I also like to read the reviews on anything I select. And yes, ma'am, yes, sir, I do read my questions and answers because someone may have the same question I have. And moving right up to the top, we're looking at the bulb information. Yes, that one does require a T10 bulb, as well as the recommendations for hanging or how high to hang the light fixture or chandelier above an object. And we also need to know important things like what's the width of the light fixture because nobody wants to order a light fixture and they think it's huge and they get it home and it's really small. But the good thing about Urban Ambiance is that they do show real pictures of their light fixtures above an object or in a room so there you have it that is the light fixture and by the time i post this video the light fixture will be here so i'll be working on the next video which is putting it up and sharing it with you all all right, everyone, this is the end of this video. I will be putting the link to Urban Ambiance in the description as well as a link to the light fixture that I chose. Thank you all for watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification on so you'll be the first to know when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.